As the City of Honolulu reviews mass transit system options with a limited budget and competing demands for city funds, we must all tighten our belts and examine the following question. Which combination of routes, infrastructure, and equipment will be capable of moving the most people most efficiently at the lowest cost in dollars and time from the major residential areas on Oahu to principal centers of employment and education? To answer this question, let us first look at the problem of traffic congestion. All who live in Hawaii know our dilemma. Traffic congestion and daily traffic jams continue to annoy and harass by slowing or halting our progress during rush hours, which seem to grow longer each day. But it is not enough to merely acknowledge the problem. A smart solution must also be practical. It must be affordable. It must be timely. We cannot wait eight to ten years to create the solution. It must be a solution that works for the entire island of Oahu, not just a narrow rail corridor. Magnet Traffic Fixed Guideway System will address these concerns. It is Hawaii's mass transit solution, as we will see. We all know that the most severe traffic jams occur on the roads leading from major residential areas to the principal employment and education centers. These areas include Mililani, Pearl Harbor, Salt Lake, the airport, Hickam, downtown Honolulu, Manoa, Ala Moana, Waikiki, Kailua and Kaneohe, Hawaii Kai, and major education centers like UH Manoa, KCC, HCC, and LCC. When the university and community colleges are not in session, traffic flows more smoothly. Any solution must address these education centers. The city proposes a 21-mile fixed rail mass transit system running only from Leeward Community College to Waikiki, bypassing nearly all major residential employment and education centers, and most current commuters. Most commuters will have to commute by car or bus to a rail station. Where is it proposed the cars will park at the station? On whose land? Presently, express buses travel to town and Waikiki without the necessity to transfer. By comparison, unlike rail, magnet track fixed guideway system route will not be confined to a narrow corridor along Oahu shoreline. Instead, the entire island will be provided with flexible service. It will not be controlled by an expensive rail or monorail infrastructure with potentially dangerous and expensive high-powered electrical lines, but will go anywhere a road or highway exists or can be built. It will service all areas now stalled with congestion, because it will include numerous routes, not a single rail line. Transfers to other means of transportation can be minimalized. There will be less traffic, less pollution, and less energy consumption. Instead, with a magnet track fixed guideway system, all major residential employment and education centers will be served. Route 1, Makaha, Waianae, Kapolei, Waipahu, Pearl City, Aiea. Route 2, Wahiwa, Mililani, Pearl City, Aiea, Salt Lake. Route 3. Eva Beach, Waipahu, Pearl City, Aiea, Pearl Harbor, the airport, downtown, Ala Moana. Route 4, Kailua, Kaneohe, Salt Lake, Kalihi. Route 5, Hanauma Bay, Hawaii Kai, 
KCC, Waikiki, Ala Moana, Downtown, HCC. Route 6, UH Manoa, Downtown, HCC, Salt Lake, IAEA, Pearl City. The system to be used will be a state-of-the-art magnetic guided rubber tired tram system, virtually a rail system on rubber tires. It is guided by an onboard navigation system, controlled by a central computer. The vehicle is guided by small magnets about the size of a quarter, embedded about four inches below the surface of the pavement, 15 feet apart. The onboard computer will sense the magnets and steer the vehicle accordingly. The central computer corrects any errors. Unlike a train or monorail that needs expensive steel rails and high-powered electrical lines, Magnet Traffic Fixed Guideway System is much less costly and can interface with all existing roads and highways. As a backup and additional safety feature, the magnetic guidance is also on board and controlled by the vehicle's computer. Dashed lines represent the line of magnets embedded in the roadway. Solid lines define the limits of the magnetic guideway. Unlike a bus which needs a driver to steer, the onboard computer senses the location of the magnets and guides the vehicle in a way very nearly identical to a rail, but at a fraction of the cost. Each vehicle is capable of precision docking, moving vertically into a space and stopping only two inches from the curbside. Existing bus stops can be used. Let's watch as it docks at the very busy Ala Moana Shopping Center stop. This aerial view of the shopping center shows the magnet trap fixed guideway vehicle approaching and sliding into its assigned space. Other features of a magnet trap fixed guideway system include use of existing drivers, bus barns, and maintenance facilities. Dedicated lanes for the magnet trap fixed guideway system can be used by emergency vehicles, law enforcement vehicles, and tow vehicles so as not to slow down existing vehicular traffic. Existing highways, roadways, and on and off ramps can be used. This interfacing will save time, expense, and allow the system to be put in operation quickly. Elevated sections will be built on a citywide basis when needed. The system is simple, practical, efficient, and economical. It can alleviate the traffic problems on an island-wide basis, serving all communities on Oahu, not just a few. So the Magnet Trap Fixed Guideway Systems combination of routes, infrastructure, and equipment is capable of moving, moving the, most, the most people most efficiently from the major residential areas on Oahu to principal centers of employment and education. And best of all, Vehicles can be configured or designed to the city's exact specifications.